Greetings hobbyists, this is Arthur of Vool, and in this video we're going to be having a look at how we can set up brushes and make it so that we can efficiently bring them into other files. So I've done several videos recently on how to make brushes, specifically VDM brushes, but this will work for any sort of brush. And I had several questions with people asking, well, how can I just bring these into files without having to set it up from scratch every time? And this isn't actually too bad, so we're going to go through this bit by bit just for anyone that doesn't know how to set up a brush in the most complete way possible and then how to bring it into those other files. So what I'm going to do is press N to bring out my tool panel or my M panel and then go to tools and then I'm going to go into sculpt mode. Now first thing we need to do is select a brush that we're going to bring these brushes in on. I'm going to just select the draw brush because it's at the top and the first thing I should mention if I just drag this out and I drag this out so we've got a bit more to see is that normally if I wanted to do this you can just come down and start fiddling around with the texture but if you're going to do this right then you might as well do this properly right from the beginning and make it so that it's as easy to use as possible. So we're going to do this properly in inverted commas and this will give a better result for when you bring this into another file and it allows us to do a few tricks that are quite important if you want to make this as useful as possible. So I'm going to be doing this with the brushes that I made recently that are for bullet holes. They're all available on my Patreon, so if you want to grab that, you can go to the Patreon page. But there's also a video of how you can make those yourself, so you're more than welcome to just make them yourself as well. But importantly, I've set them up in one file where I've got all of the VDM saved here. This could be your alphas or any brush that you want to make. And then I've got this set up here with my image for each of those. If I just go into view and then like icons you can see we've got each of these so we can see what they're like now you don't have to have those but we'll show where that comes in later so let's just close that down so we've got our brush here and what we want to do is make a new brush not just a new texture on this brush so what I'm going to do here is click add brush and I can name this so I'm just going to call this bullet one or actually let's go with a because I've named them a b c then I want to bring in my texture I'm going to come down to texture and click new and that's going to make a new texture which we can use and I'm going to name this so I'm just going to call this bullet a and no so I just do this lowercase so that I find it easier to find you don't have to do this but it means that I can differentiate between the brush and the texture and I'm going to come down to my texture panel here where we've got bullet a there and we can load in our new brush so notice we've made the brush and we're applying this texture to the brush. So open, go to my bullet hole A, not the image, the bullet hole, click open image and we've got that there. Now at this point I'm going to set up the brush so that it works correctly for a VDM. Obviously this is up to you how you want to apply this. But for a VDM I want this strength up to full. I want to take off my pressure for when I use my tablet. I want my texture to be area plane and to be vector displacement. I want my stroke to be anchored, my fall off to be constant. So that's all set up now in a way that's going to work. And importantly, I need to then make sure that this shield is clicked there. This applies what's called a fake user. Now, I don't know why it's called a fake user, but essentially it means that it is going to save onto any file that I save here. But we also importantly need to do this in our texture section there and down here where we've got it in our settings. So make sure both of those are ticked as well. And then finally, at the moment, you'll see now that we've got our bullet A here, but it's not very useful to see what this is. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to click my custom icon. And then down here, we can open our custom icon and open our image. Click accept. And this does take a second to work sometimes. And then now we've got that as my brush, as well as my normal draw brush. Now, if I want to set up another one, just follow exactly the same process. So once you've done that, make sure that everything's got those fake users, as we said, and we're going to go to File, Save As, and then you want to save this. So I'm going to save this as VDM Brushes, because in the future I'll add all of my VDM Brushes to this file to make them easy to find. Click Save As, and then we've got this good to go. So let's bring these back to the side, and essentially all this means now is if I just go into edge mode, control and E, subdivide this, let's say 100 times. And then we probably need to do that a little bit more. So control and E again, subdivide and let's put that up to two. Go into sculpt mode and bullet A, there, bullet, let's say D, there. Notice that it's the same one as our image. And then bullet F, bullet E. Bullet H. You can see how easy this is now. It's really worth being able to do this up here instead of having to come down each time and refine this in the texture panel. So 
I love this. I think this is the way to do it with your brush settings. But we don't want to have to do this every single time for every project. So let's look at how we'd bring this in to a new file now that we've got this done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open a new blend file because we're going to come back to this because I want to show you something later that's well worth doing. So we're going to keep this open in the background. So I'm going to open a new sculpting file. I think I need to restart my screencast keys because it's a new file and probably we're going to need to remesh this as well. So let's remesh this so it's nice and fine. So Control and R to apply the remesh. So we want to bring these brushes in. If I come to N and we go to this brush, right, here's tools. We haven't got any of these brushes here. So we want to bring those in. And it's relatively simple. What you do is you go to File, then Append, and find where you've got your file. So I'm going to double click on that and you'll notice that you now go into what is normally a blend file and you've got all these different parts of this and this is going to be in brush and you'll see here we've got all of our brushes that are part of this file. You just need to find the ones that you want. So we want bullet A to H and we can click append and now they're all here. And as soon as you save this file, they'll be saved into the file so you don't have to do this every time. Now, this is up to you what you want. So for example, I'm making one brush file that have all of my brushes in. I'm just naming them bullet A, B, C, D, E, and so on. And then I'll do that for other brushes so that they're easy to find. But there is one thing that probably could be made easier with this if this is gonna be where my custom brushes are. And that is when I did this append, we've got all of the other brushes in here as well. And that's a little bit tedious. So let's make it so that doesn't have to happen. So what I'm going to do is just go to File and New and open a new sculpting. Don't save this. And we'll have a look at this again. And again, I probably need to R to remesh this. And then Control and R just so we can get this working when we do bring them in and it's nice and detailed. So what we actually want to do for this is that we actually want to delete all of the other brushes that aren't our custom brushes. And that's actually not too difficult to do. Let's look at how we're going to do that. So what you do is you come over here to your object outliner and come to this display mode and we just want to go to Blender File. And this now brings up all of the elements of our Blender file including our collection, but normally we could only see that. And you'll notice we've got brushes and you've got all of your brushes, including our ones that we brought in. So all I'm gonna do is select all of the ones that aren't part of the brushes that I want, right click and then click delete. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the clay all the way down to the other ones. I don't want any of those and delete. So now we've only got those brushes, let's file and save that again. And if we come back, let's go into our tool. We've got none of these extra brushes, file, append, and then I'd need to come into my VDM brushes, click brushes, and now we've only got those ones that are our custom ones. And if we had more, they'd be there as well. So this makes it much easier for us to find and to append only the brushes that we want. And now they're all here. So we can just go straight in and start sculpting. So that is how to make your custom brush set up and then how to bring them quickly into other files so you can use them as efficiently as possible. If you found that useful, please do hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if you want to join the Patreon, you've got that link in the description. So feel free to come on over and help support the channel. Have a great day, guys.